Welcome back to another episode of Brass and Beer. Today we are doing a new video series I'm starting. And if you haven't seen my intro for this, go check out my intro. It's a video I did before this. Uh, it's also linked in the playlist there. Anyways, let's get started here. This is my Midway 6 sale. So basically what we're doing here is I find six products in the Midway website and they're either on sale or clearance. And basically... Uh, I'm just going to show you some some items that I thought were you know noteworthy of maybe you taking a look at. So uh, let's go into the cart here and take a look at what we have. Uh, so first off, we're going to start off with this Nikon binocular set. So the Nikon binocular set I thought was a pretty good deal because they're normally one fifty nine ninety five, and you can see right here uh, fifty five sixty four, and I think it's anything over fifty dollars gets you free shipping. That's why it says and ships free. Uh, but basically, it's Nikon binoculars. They're 8 by 42 millimeter, and they are uh, refurbished. That is one thing, probably why they're so inexpensive. Uh, but with Nikon's refurbished binoculars, you do get to carry a 90-day warranty with uh, with Nikon, with the manufacturer. So, uh, good to know. But I thought for 55, 64, uh, and you're getting a, a set of Nikon binoculars. I thought that was a pretty good deal. You can use them for hunting, uh, shooting, of course. Uh, sporting events, you know, anything you want to use a set of field binoculars for. If you just want a set to throw in your truck and keep in there, it's a pretty inexpensive set and it's made by Nikon. So I thought that, that was just something that was definitely, uh, you know, worth taking note of. Let's take a look at our next product here. And it is going to be the Smith & Wesson uh, M&P Shield magazine. This is for a 40 and it looks like only for a 40. I, I didn't see if the nine was on sale. Uh, I wish it, the nine was because I definitely consider picking some up. Uh, but 18.22 for a uh, concealed magazine for a, a shield is a very good price because they're normally uh, somewhere between 30 and 35 dollars. Usually in your local gun shops, you'll see them uh, right around 30 to 35. Like I said, at like Field and Stream, even your your big box stores. Uh, you'll see them for that price but uh, here's the good news is even the seven round is still on sale uh the seven round you uh, that only goes up to a dollar and you get to you know carry another round but either option uh super good price less than 20 bucks you can pick up another mag for your shield um i've definitely considered picking up uh, an extra one for mine and like i said i just have trouble spending you know 30 something bucks on a on a mag so I'll, i always wait for them to usually go on sale and, and look at that for the 40 they are currently on sale right now uh, next product here is this GPS adjustable target stand. It is powder coated. That's one big thing I look for. Uh, anything target related is if it's powder coated because it just holds up a lot better. Now it might not hold up to a gun shop, but it will hold up to weather and like, you know, like rocks on the ground if it's getting, trying to get scratched or something like that. The, the powder coating just holds up a lot better so the, the metal underneath doesn't rust. Uh, it does have four stake holes for uh, wind control is what they say. So you can stake it down uh, on both sides or these front and back here. It does fit a one by two inch piece of wood in these the little holders there. And so then you can, you know, staple your target up or whatever. And I, I thought that was really cool because the, the wood there is super cheap. You can go to like Lowe's or Home Depot and pick these up for like, I want to say two or three bucks per piece of lumber. So very, very good deal on that. 25 bucks, uh, normally 40 and I'm sorry, 2406. So you're saving 39% uh, on that guy. Uh, pretty good savings there. Let's go to our next product here. And the next one is this Bushnell scope. It's a rifle scope, three to nine zoom, 40 millimeter. Looks like it's a matte black is, is what the, the color is. You can see the optic layout. It has the, the hash marks, which I thought was really neat. Uh, but nice little Bushnell scope. Oh, here's one more picture. Um, looks like that's probably gonna have your dimensions in it for you if you scroll somewhere else. Uh, but Bushnell scope, uh, $149.99, and it says add price to uh, add it to cart. I think it's 77 something. We'll go back and look at that in just a second, but I think it's around 49% off, which is crazy good deal. Uh, it is. I uh, look at ultra wide band coating, uh, fully multi-coated optics, and it's waterproof construction. I'm not really sure what that means because I don't see like an actual IP rating on it, uh, but it you know says it won't fog or anything like that due to rapid temperature change or humidity. So that's always good to know uh, so when it comes to hunting. But I figured for $77, you're gonna get a Bushnell scope, which you could throw on maybe one of your rifles that you're not doing as much um, you know precision shooting or something like that. And you're getting a good deal on a Bushnell name brand scope and it's three by nine. So I'd definitely uh, look into picking something like this up for one of my 
more inexpensive rifles. And like I said, that, that price did come back at 77.18. So, uh, ammunition, ammunition is one that I always like to look at on Midway's website. So this is nine millimeter. I'm always shopping around for nine. Cause it seems like I just go through that the most, uh, 899 for a box of 50 cartridges and it's 18 cents around is what that comes out to which for me, I thought that was a really good deal because when I'm shopping ammunition, I always shop obviously price per round, especially when it comes to target. If I, if you know, if it's, if I'm shopping for another like hunting or self-defense or something, I don't care about the price tag at that point. Uh, when it comes to uh, just target load, real simple stuff, I, I always shop price per round. And at 18 cents a round, I thought that was a really good deal because I always tell myself if it's between 30 and 35 cents a round, and that's okay to shoot. That's okay to, you know, to just go through all day. But 18 cents a round is crazy cheap for nine millimeter. I can't believe that. So you can either get 50 rounds or you can go up to a thousand rounds for 170 bucks. It then even drops it down to a little bit cheaper at 17 cents a round, which is crazy. So uh, one other thing, I've never shot Magtech before ammunition. I've never shot that, that brand of uh, ammunition, but Here's the good news is Midway does have reviews on their website and in their review section, you can see it's mostly five stars for this, uh, for this ammunition. You have a few four stars, three, two, and one star, but here's the most helpful negative review, which I thought was noteworthy. I would be shooting this out of my nine millimeter MMP shield and look at, I've had nothing but problems with Magtech nine millimeter ammunition in my MMP shield. So that's, uh, you know, go look at the reviews and see if maybe uh, this ammunition would be okay for you to target. You know, it's target ammo. I don't really care if it, if I have trouble cycling a few every now and then, it's no big deal. Um, you know, but if it's every round, then obviously I probably wouldn't recommend it because that's just more of a hassle than anything. So, uh, but yeah, Magtech, nine millimeter, 115 grain, full metal jacket. I thought that that was a, a phenomenal deal. 17, 18 cents a round. What a great price. So next thing here in our last, item number six is a range bag so i'm going to tell you guys a quick little story when i first got into shooting i saw how expensive range bags were or field bags were whatever you want to call them and i the one i wanted was like i want to say it was like a hundred something dollars and i was like that's way too much for a bag i can go buy a whole nother gun for that i'm not paying over a hundred dollars for a bag so I went to Walmart and went to their like duffel bag section and got a bag for like seven bucks. I regret that decision. I think I threw it away. The thing was just junk. Um, I used it for a while, but there was no structure to it or anything. So I do recommend a good range bag. You won't regret this decision. I take a, I take a, a smaller range bag to me. Every time I go to the range, I throw my ammunition in it, some cleaning supplies, that kind of stuff, just in case I have a problem out at the range. So spend the money. But here's the good news is you don't really have to spend the money at this point because for $14.99, you could have a range bag. I thought this was a crazy good deal. So this range bag has one big main center pocket. You can see it has a, a two-sided zipper thing so you can get full access to that uh, and then it has two full size uh, side pockets I didn't see anything you know at the range for you to unfold and like lay your lay your handguns out on uh, in this I don't think it comes with that uh, it says two removable dividers though so you can actually have two dividers in here you know organize your stuff a little bit better two full length pockets and reinforced stitching so uh, it's like PVC coated polyester so it's gonna hold up it's nice and tough it does come in a few different colors it comes in uh, black or camo. The camo is a little bit more expensive at 1869. Uh, I prefer the olive drab color. I think it looks the best, but the problem with this one is it's out of stock. Uh, back order. Okay. Is what it says. So I did click on that to see how long, how far out it is. And it's going to be out till February of 2018, which is crazy. And then again, it'll probably be back ordered by then anyway. So if you don't want to wait that long, settle with, with a different color. Like for example, the, oops, the black, uh, $14.99 and they have it in stock, which is great news. Uh, let's see the reviews. It looks like reviews has mostly five stars, four stars. So uh, cool little range bag, probably has structure. You got straps and handles and everything. So I would recommend spending the money on a good range bag and, uh, on, and getting something. Maybe I'll do another one next video, but uh, for 15 bucks, I thought you really couldn't go wrong with this range bag. So, I mean, $15, so cheap. Even if you don't use it and you upgrade later on, you can still use this for uh, maybe like shotgun shells, outbird hunt or something like that. So anyway, so that is my six items on the Midway uh, sale or clearance section there. If you like to give video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or recommendations or anything like that, leave a comment down below. 
And last but not least, if uh, again, if you enjoyed this video, uh, hit the subscribe button and help me out greatly. Turn on those notifications so you can get all my videos. And if this video wasn't enough to earn your subscription, then you should go check out some of my other videos and I think those will be enough to earn your subscription. So I, I uh, make a video every week and of course, uh, the midway six items come out on the sixth of every month. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.